Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Linux Temple. And today we are going to have a quick look at the Tiny Core Linux, whose ISO size is of 21 MB. And probably this is the lightest operating system with graphical desktop environment. Actually, Tiny Core is Linux based operating system, which comes with a graphical user interface. And this is best for older hardwares, not just older, but very old hardwares, since it requires less than 100 MB of storage and around 60 MB of RAM and which is nothing compared to today's standard. Okay guys, let's get into the topic. And as we search for the tiny core, so there in the download option, we have three different options. The first is core. This is the lightest version. And this provides only a command line interface. And next we have tiny core, which is of 21 MB. And this provides us graphical desktop. But it does not support the wireless core plus, which is of 163 MB. And here we have access to a wireless network as well. But now I'm going to try the tiny core. So let's see what are we going to get in a 21 MB operating system. So now I'm going to run tiny core on my virtual machine so there we have okay, boot tiny core so this is the default desktop look of tiny core so there we have dock so let's see what we're going to get here so first there we have exit. So from there we can show down reboot. And then we have editor. I guess this must be the text editor. So there we have. And we've got the vertical title bar there. So we can maximize horizontally. Or vertically so this is a simple text editor software and then we have control panel so there we have different setting options so backup restore date and time network settings TC double bar configuration the mount tool mouse tool system stats, wallpaper, services, swap file tool, terminal server, and so on. And then we have apps. So from here, we can download and install apps on TinyCore. So first, here you can choose the fastest mirror. So as I already told you, it doesn't come with the wireless support. So it needs a wired internet connection, which I don't have currently. So from here, we can install different apps for tiny core. Okay, let's close this. And then we have mount tool. So from here, we can mount or unmount our storage devices. And lastly, here we have terminal. So let me maximize this. So let's check the RAM users. So there you can see the memory uses is 69456 k kilobytes of memory is used currently and which is around of 65 MB so which is quite low impressive and the CPU uses is almost zero so as I right click on the desktop there we have applications terminal and system tools apps control panel Editor, Exit, Mount Tool, Run, Screenshot. Uh, we can take Screenshot as well. Let's try. So Screenshot, Save to this folder. Very nice. And also, and also we have Xkill available here. Using Xkill, we can terminate any running program in case if it is not responding. So let me show you. So here I'm using Terminal. 
So by using this Xkill tool, so as you click on it, it will terminate this. So there we have. Okay, so let me change the wallpaper from control panel. So there we have wallpaper on the utilities. Oh, so here we can select different solid colors there as a wallpaper. The default is this gradient blue color. So if I want this color, done. So there we have. So this way we can change the wallpaper as well, but only the solid colors are available. So guys, this was the quick review of the Tiny Core Linux and I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please like this video and do subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice time.